I'm now going to walk you through a quick demo on how to install the new Mule agent that comes with Mule 3.6. So here I am on the MuleSoft.com page to download the Mule ESB runtime. I just hit download um, and save the um, Mule runtime to some location. So I'm going to hit cancel for now. Um, then you can see here instructions on how to add the agent which says that you need to look at the agent documentation. And within the agent documentation, you can see how to install the agent with a quick start script. And the way to do that is to download a quick start script, which is a jar file, and save it to some location in your drive. So I've gone ahead and done this. And you can see it here. Uh, here's the jar file. That's the quick start script for the agent. And here is the runtime download from MuleSoft.com. So first I'll un unzip the runtime download. Notice that the runtime download is called MMC Distribution Mule Console Bundle. And that really is because our runtime bundle comes with Mule Management Console or MMC as well as the Mule Runtime. Within it, I can see here that I have a Mule Enterprise Runtime, and I will go into that. And this is the file structure of the Mule Runtime. Now all I need to do is uh, run the agent, quick start script. And as you can see, here's a script, or here's a command for how to do it. So you just specify Mule Home, which in this case is uh, this directory right here, and the location of the agent setup jar, which I believe is two directories up. It then asks um, what secure or the level of security you want to install your agent in. You can pick a secure channel or an insecure channel. So let me pick secure. It will then ask you for the location of your key store. So I'll just say here. And, you know, uh, I didn't have a key store, so no operation will be performed. Let me run that again and specify insecure connection channel. And in this case, the agent is installed with a REST endpoint, but not encrypted. And this is very useful to, just to get a quick sense of the agent running um, and connecting to the agent. Now that the agent is installed, I can go ahead and start Mule. And I can also go and tail the logs. And you'll see here that since I downloaded the runtime bundle, um, I will have several pieces started together with my mule, included in which will be the um, agent necessary for MMC, which is the uh, management and monitoring application for Mule applications. And you'll also see that the Mule agent core extension will be started. And as you can see here, uh, Mule agent core extension has been started. Now, just to verify, I can go into my plugins folder. And as you can see here, my Mule agent plugin is successfully installed. Once installed, there is a conf within the conf folder. There's a mule-agent.yaml file. And within this file, you can configure transports, internal handlers, external handlers, and services that the mule agent can use. And that's a really quick overview of how to install the mule agent.